happen. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. I can't believe how many white people did it. That's unbelievable. Thank you. You are incredible. Thank you. That's so good. Is Abe all right? Hey, come on, it's not the first time that's happened. Something is always gonna go wrong. I think basically we've done a pretty good job so far tonight. Don't let, forget it, okay? It's happened before. We, this is a, a, a lovely place and uh, let's put it out of our heads. It's not like some of the places we've played which have been pretty grim. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. There's one place where we had to play and... Uh, <laughs> It was unbelievable. It was, uh, it was like, it was located next to one of those like punk bars, you know, <laughs> with the big rainbow colors out front, you know, all the people. And, and you come inside and everybody is just jammed in so that if you even had to go to the bathroom, you couldn't get up and get out of the place. And the lights are still sort of on the audience, you know what I mean? There's people with cameras running around. <laughs> like they don't even care about you. It's like a whole other project they're working on. The drinks are really expensive and half the audience is complimentary, so you don't make a dime. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I, you know, the kind of dump I'm talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. We were, we were able to write a song about this, uh, the, excuse me? I don't blame you for speaking out. A lot of times during a Rams game, I'll go out and talk to Pat Hayden. I just say, hey Pat, before you throw that pass, excuse me, I know Jim Marshall's coming at you, but I just want to ask you something. So. It's nice to see you here. Guess they dropped those child molesting charges, huh? So. They're so hard to make stick, etc. But you were lucky. This is three times now. <laughs> oh dear, but the kids love it. <laughs> but we were able to write a little tune about that situation, and uh, you know, sort of out of out of tragedy comes uh, comes. Well, way to hear the song could be even more tragedy. I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> there's one of those places where they keep saying blues, play the blues, you know, and you have these girls with these big floppy chest with no bra with let's boogie written on the t-shirt up there on the table just popping lewds you know and, and you go, oh gee whiff you know whatever so we ended up doing a blues and it's a blues dedicated to this specific dump and uh, we'd like to share that dump with you right now i hope you enjoy it here we go calm it out michael Philadelphia to Spokane. I've opened shows for Lawrence Welk and Tiny Tim. And I admit, I hit my bourbon and cocaine. When I find out that that concert's in a gym. I'll keep on picking Cause it's all that I know how If I took another job I'd be a fake But sometimes I feel like quitting And you've made that sometime now Lord knows I played some shitholes Boy, but this thing's the case There's more than meets the ear. Can't you tell that it's poetry, folks, that I'm saying? Have you noticed that there's a stone genius here? Know you're too intent on clapping out of rhythm. Your date nude out by the lake Like that jerk in row 11 And the jerk ass that's sitting with him
say shitholes? No. I didn't think so. But this one... Takes a big slice of Betty Crocker's cake. 